Uh, how exactly is rape a weapon of war? The United States President. The woke false outrage mob are out in full force again, and this time they're coming for a British institution. Richard Maidley. UK TV presenter Richard Maidley has sparked outrage by asking how exactly rape is used as a weapon of war. Can we just mm. come back to Chip very quickly? Chip, we've, we've said there something which is widely reported this morning, that rape is, is used as a weapon of war. Uh, how exactly is rape a weapon of war? So the lazy, agenda-driven hacks and Twitter keyboard warriors that have got this to trend are, of course, taking the words that Richard Madeley literally said completely and wildly out of context. The question Richard Madeley literally asked is, how is rape a weapon of war? But the first thing that struck me, the first red flag, was that with all of the Twitter opinions I was scrolling through, I couldn't find a clip of Richard Madeley actually saying that. Now you'll notice in my video, I have included a clip of him actually asking the question and the context and the tone and intonation are indeed very important. First of all, there is how he says it. Uh, how exactly is rape a weapon of war? Now it would be very different if he had said, how is rape a weapon of war? He didn't. He asked the question in a very honest, inquisitive manner. Which leads me to my next point, the context. Who is he asking the question to? Uh, how exactly is rape a weapon of war? Well, it's just trying to impose some sort of will upon the enemy as uh, sort of undermentioned Second World War times. It's absolutely horrific. And if you've got compromised morality and unchecked power with those with weapons, you have a lethal combination for the future. The man who is answering the question is Chip Chapman, former senior British advisor to the US Central Command. As well as being a former soldier, he is an expert on defence, terrorism and radicalisation. Falsely outraged hacks on Twitter are behaving as though this was some sort of rhetorical question to the viewers of Good Morning Britain. Richard Madeley cannot see that rape is a weapon of war as terrorism, he's more thoughtless than merely myopic. I am reminded of Hannah Arendt's observation that evil is often banal. That's how it works. Evil's lack of thought disguises its stealth and pervasion. Richard Madeley is an ignorant, knuckle-dragging moron who is way past his sell-by date. All the fashionable emojis. Within the last two days, we had Sarah Vine saying that sexual assault is a midlife crisis, and Richard Madeley asking whether rape is really a weapon of war. And then people are surprised why gender-based violence is not taken seriously. Shameful such views are allowed on TV. Shut up, you disingenuous, virtue-signalling clowns. Richard Madeley did not ask the question the way you are presenting it. Richard Madeley may be a lot of things. He may be a living meme. He may be out of touch. But he is not an apologist for rape. We have a collective responsibility as a society to call out this kind of narcissistic behaviour. People dislike Richard Madeley or dislike what they feel he stands for, whatever that may be, and so they're taking to social media to pretend to be offended on behalf of other people. I'm not annoyed because I'm in it or I'm a prude. It offends women. It's sexist. And I hate that. This whole thing did get me thinking though, where does this dislike of Richard Madeley come from? To me, at least all of my life, I've seen Richard Madeley as this sort of lovable idiot, sort of real life Alan Partridge. But I've noticed over the last couple of years he has started to get quite a lot of hostile hate online. And I think this hostility towards Richard Madeley has intensified over the last year since he posed this question to a guest on Good Morning Britain. Listen, there's a point I really have to put to you, and, and you'll be aware of this, because there's been a lot of, um, of commentary about this in the British media about you. Um, and it's, it's to do with your politics, and, and you know what I'm going to ask you. Uh, you've been a member of the Communist Party for about 40 years now. You're, you're still a member. And we know that, that communism is basically statist. We look at communist countries around the world, and we see that they are tremendously top-down dominant and control societies that they, that they rule over. And I just wonder, and I'm putting this question on behalf of those who wonder about your politics. If your politics actually informs your sense of control, it's not just, it's not just the medical arguments, but you have a kind of a political bent to want the state to tell people what to do. 
Now, I actually thought that that was a really well uh, formed question and a valid point, to be fair. So, is all of this hatred towards Richard Madeley really just another symptom of the division in society? Is Richard Madeley this once almost universally beloved buffoon, it seemed, yet another victim of this increasing ideological polarization? He questioned the government's COVID policy and appeared to criticize communism in the same breath. <laughs> Burn him at the stake! The thing I take away from this controversy is just that it's, it's, it's yet another example of how we have more information at our fingertips than at any other time in human history, but at the same time we are still biased, set in our ways, uh, disingenuous in our beliefs and in our opinions, and it's just, uh, it's, it's a really sad time to be alive. I'm sorry, but I just don't believe for a second that anyone who sits down and watches the clip that I've put in this video today would come away believing that Richard Madeley is in some way an apologist for rape, or that he doesn't think that rape is a weapon of war. He's a layman, he's a journalist, he is ignorant, he's asking a war expert, an expert on terrorism, how rape is used as a weapon of war, to gain some insight for himself and for the viewers. Anyone who watches that clip and sees anything other than that, to me, sorry, you're blinded by your ideology. You either dislike Richard Madeley for some other reason, or you are absolutely desperate to take offence at things because you're a narcissist. And with that, uh, I think I'm done. I don't think I can say anything more about this topic. It's uh, a non-story. Uh, anyone who doesn't see what I see in that clip, uh, just their brain isn't wired the same way. I, I, I can't... I don't think I can meet anyone halfway on this. It was an honest question by a layman to an expert asked in an inquisitive tone. I, I just can't I can't see I can't see anything else in that. There's just nothing else to discuss, I don't think.